Hello again. Welcome back. Or welcome for the first time. Today we're looking at one of my favorite paintings. And I'm going to ramble for a little bit here. So now would be a great time to set up for your meditation. Meditations, there's lots of different theories and ideas about what's good for what and let's just put all that aside for today and you know whatever is going to be comforting for you is best. So you can lie in bed, ideally a meditation you stay awake. If you're using this to fall asleep, that's totally groovy. You can lie on the floor, you can lay on your couch if you really want. If you're lying on your couch, try to take some pillows, even steal them from the bed if you like, and prop yourself so that you're nice and supported and not kinked in a funny position. You're also more than welcome to sit. Um, for seated meditation, you can use a chair, you can sit on your couch, you can sit on the floor. If you're seated on the floor, I highly recommend you prop yourself in a way that you'll be comfortable for a while. If you need to transition at some point throughout the meditation, that's totally fine too. Oh, you just follow what you need. Um, I highly recommend having even just a little rolled up towel to support your neck. If you're lying on the floor, also maybe a little pillow underneath the knees if you're on the floor. If you're seated, sitting on a pillow, a cushion, a stack of towels. Um, you don't have to have your legs crossed. Maybe sitting in a squat-like position is best or one leg tucked and the other extended. Again, you can shift and move as needed for today's meditation. This is more a practice of being than it is a traditional, whatever that means, meditation. Okay, I have jibber-jabbered. Hopefully that's enough time for you to have found your space, cultivated your little nest. If you need to pause, now would be a great time to pause and we can meet up once you're all set up. Awesome. Okay. Meditation. Being. There's a few different ways you can ground into yourself right now. Um, I personally like to place my hands on my chest or my belly. If you find that tactile sensation is not okay for you right now, that's totally fine. There's other ways. Some people might like placing a stack of heavy blankets on top of themselves or across their lap. Um, this is all to help with a sense of grounding if you're feeling a little untethered. If, however, you are in the opposite realm and you are feeling way too grounded, a nice way to get that starting to feel a little bit lighter is to slowly make a fist and let the fist go or wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers. Just bringing a little bit of life into the body and trying to bring yourself out of that deep, dark, heavy. So whichever you need, whether you're looking to help add some weight, ground your mind, ground your body, hands on, weights on, or if you're in the other space and you're looking to get out of that deep, dark, low feeling, just again, wiggle the fingers, maybe make some fists, wiggle the toes, maybe roll your ankles around. All of those are great options. So I, th I find it really important as we settle into this space of being. Oftentimes, just like when you're falling asleep, 
in that final moment before sleep, you get that sleep jerk. And it's, you know, sometimes right before the act of being and finding presence, your body lets itself be known. It can finally come through and be like, hey, me, me, me. <laughs> That's okay. If you're at that moment, shake it out, roll it out, shift, wiggle, do your thing. This is all part of the ritual of acknowledging the different layers. There's so much going on around us and there's so many layers to our experience and our being. To finally get to the core, we have to go through several layers. So we're all nested up. We found that nice neutral space, whether we're lowering, grounding down, or lifting ourselves up and finding that neutral coming out of out of the root. We've wiggled and shaked off any last little remnants that are letting themselves be known through the body. Now we're starting to come to the practice. So as we know, everything in life, nothing's static. Everything's always in flux, always changing. So as we settle in to being right now, just right now, You might notice a cycle, a thought, a body part, a feeling starting to emerge. It's okay. Honor it for showing up. Let itself be known and say, I'll come back to you later. doing is just being right here, right now, just being. You might start to notice your breath starting to change. Maybe it's the first time you've noticed your breath all day. It's pretty nice, isn't it? Air flowing in through the nose back out through the nose. Just that movement of air in through the nose and back out through the nose. Find the breath a really helpful anchor in the practice of being. Again, there's no wrong way to be. Maybe a feeling, might be a body part, might be a thought. They're welcome to come in, say hello, come back to them later, come back to right now. All we are is right now. That's being. This is the time you've carved out for yourself to just be. You don't have to do anything other than just be. Your body can exist as it is. Movement of air in and out of your body the act of breathing, just being. Some of you might have already started to close the eyes, letting that sensation of being move inwards, going through the layers deeper and deeper. That's great. Some of you might be exploring closing the eyes now. 
And sometimes that can bring up mm, more intense sensations from the body, the mind, or your feelings. There's no right or wrong way to be, remember. If you find the eyes closed to be very comforting and part of the journey you want to take today, let it be. If you find the practice of being starts to become challenging, you get to make the choice as to whether or not you'd like to keep your eyes closed. A great way to be with the eyes open is just to find a spot somewhere in front of you, somewhere above you, beside you. Eyes can settle softly on that spot. We're not studying or trying to analyze the spot. We just sort of start to glaze over. It's just a it's just a spot. And then we come back to the practice. Come back to being. If you need that anchor to root you into your being, feel the air flow in through the nose. Feel the air flow out through the nose. Breathing in, I am being. Breathing out, I am being. Breathing in, I am being. Breathing out, I am being. Stay with the practice. The mind starts to wander. Just come back to your anchor. Back to being.
you're starting to wander. Just come back to being. back to this present moment. Whatever is in your experience right now is totally valid, totally present. We're just coming back to this time that you've carved out for yourself. The container you've set for yourself. Time to just be, not do, not think, not analyze, nothing other than just being. Bring the mind back on track, bring the body back on track. If it's starting to get very loud in the body, adjust, shift, maybe even change positions. Settle back in. Reset your container. Come back to being. the movement of air in through the nose, out through the nose. Air goes in through the nose, air goes out through the nose. Breathing in, I am being Breathing out, I am being. Breathing in, I am being. Breathing out, I am being.
if this meditation, this practice of being is really working for you, just hit the stop button and continue on at your own pace. self, the state that we've cultivated, start to come back to the breath again, air flows in through the nose, air flows out through the nose. flows in through the nose, air flows out through the nose. Good. And for some of you, you might have weights on your body. Heavy blankets. Maybe just gently roll the shoulders or wiggle the fingers, bring a little bit of sensation to the body. And gently place any props on or around you off to the side. You are welcome to start to take your hands, squeeze the legs. If you're lying down, they might not be accessible. Maybe just rub the sides of your hips if you're lying down. And start to bring your hands towards your belly. And rub your belly. start to find their way up towards your chest. Connect lay your hands on your chest, maybe rub your chest. Start to rub your shoulders, down your arms, your hands. Up towards your neck. Mm little circles around your face, your scalp. <clears throat> if you're lying down, you might start to bring one knee into your chest at a time. If you're seated, maybe you start to sway your body from side to side. Little circles, maybe extending one leg at a time as you gently shift forwards, backwards, side to side. So we're taking our practice of being, come out of that inner core, coming back to the body. For those of you that chose to close your eyes, and gently start to blink them open, slowly taking in your surroundings. For those that left your eyes open, you may have found your eyes have come back into focus. So you start to take in your environment. Start to Breathe in your environment a little bit bigger. Big inhale through the nose. Big exhale through the mouth. A few more times. A 
Once or twice more, big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. We can start to smell our environment, hear our environment, all of our senses are starting to engage. You're welcome now to start any little gentle movements that might feel right, little body things that came up through your practice of being that you might feel called to do so now. You're welcome to continue to be here. You're welcome to continue on with your day. You're welcome to do whatever the heck you want. It's your life. Uh, yeah, I do hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope this was helpful for you in some way, shape, or form. Um, all feelings and thoughts and body things during a being practice are all totally valid. If you find that there's been some feelings after that need to be addressed, Taking time with a journal, taking time for a walk, a time out to go over these feelings can also be very helpful. If you feel like there's maybe not space within your home for those time outs, maybe just letting folks you know give you some space so that you can process might be helpful if possible. Again, if you need to process things or are curious, don't be shy, reach out. And yeah, again, hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope that was helpful in some way, shape or form. See you later.